All right, today I have a very exciting video for you guys. We are discussing Genshin Impact Shader Effect mods. You're probably familiar with character skins, weapon skins, but with Shader Effect mods, we can now change the colors of animations, elemental burst, elemental skills, and all of that using shader mods. But this is very exciting because it gives us all kinds of new potential to create some really, really cool animations. Uh, as you can see on screen here, we have a uh, Nahida mod, which is a shader effect mod that lets us change the colors used during her attacks and her animations. So I will show you guys how that is done. So the process for using shader effect mods is very similar to regular mods. However, there is one extra folder that you will download to use shader effect mods. So you will have a mod folder and then you will have a shaders folder. So both of these will need to go in their corresponding 3D Magoto folder. So I just downloaded this and these are the two zip files. So I will need to extract the mods folder into mods, which will look like this. So this is the party Nahida folder. And then this was the any file that was within the party Nahida folder. So I took the any file and took it out of the party Nahida folder so that you can see it. This is what it will look like. It will say configuration settings. And then if you have the file extension option selected, you will see dot any. So this is the first part. We want to make sure our any file is in our 3D Magoto mods folder. So for this mod in particular, the help.rar file is our shader files. So what I did was I took this file and extracted it into the 3D Magoto shader fixes folder. And that is what you see here. All of this replace.txt, these are all of the shaders that I exported or extracted into the shader fixes folder. You do want to keep all of the files previously existing within the shader fixes folder. That is all of these files here. Leave these be and then put the extracted shader files into the shader fixes folder as shown here. One thing to note, it's very important that at this time you do not use multiple shader effects mods at the same time. Currently, that can cause issues if multiple shaders are affected simultaneously, that can create problems. So make sure at this time that you're just using one shader effect mod at a time. All right, and that is all for today's video. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys can enjoy some of these exciting mods. There will undoubtedly be more coming in the future. So I'm excited about the future of shader effect mods. If you have questions, feel free to comment them below and I will do my best to answer. And as always, thank you guys for watching.